What's interesting is in the audience today we have the whole spectrum from sixth formers to retired people and I actually think pensions are fascinating. Uh, I've tried to persuade a teenager of this already so far today and I think so much of our lives affect our pensions outcome, whether we're married or single, the job we get, the health that we have, the house that we live in, everything affects your outcome in retirement and I think really what governments have to do is make it easy for people. We overcomplicate these things far too much. Yes, sir. I can understand that. There'll be concerns that we have, of course, about our, the retirement age that maybe keeps creeping up. When do you foresee our retirement age reaching 70? Is that on the horizon? I think for, probably for people at the start of their working lives today, a pension age beginning with a seven is quite plausible. I mean, there is some dispute as to whether longevity is still improving, certainly it's, it's slowed down. But, you know, if we are going to live into our mid-90s, you can't draw a pension in your mid-60s, just the maths will never add up. And are you, do you have concerns about the, the financial structures that are available for people to actually have enough money to retire on? I think in many ways we're moving towards a better place having been in a very difficult place. As companies closed their final salary pensions there was a bit of a void for many years. Automatic enrolment has now got millions of people started. It's a very long journey but they've got a decent state pension as a floor. Without them having to take active choices they're now getting money into a workplace pension and the firm and the government's putting money in as well. So we've got a chance I think of putting things right but there will be plenty who retire still well short. And for those that are self-employed, there'll be a lot of self-employed people in this audience yeah. They obviously would be concerned about what percentage of their earnings they will need to put aside. I mean, is there a magic figure that they shouldn't fall below with that percentage? I think self-employed people are hugely diverse. So if you are someone who's actually effectively got a business, and it's a business that you could sell at retirement, then that's very different to someone who is, frankly, on the borderline between self-employment and employment. And, of course, they don't benefit from an employer putting money in for them. So, you know, if you were thinking about an employee, you might be looking at perhaps getting on for 10 to 15 percent of salary including what the firm puts in and that's if you start pretty early in life many self-employed people have got nothing so they need to move more quickly really but realistically they'll probably also have to work longer than they would wish if that's not what they do and those messages are going to come across this morning to our audience absolutely and you know i suspect anyone who comes to an av trinity event is interested and well informed but hopefully there'll be a few nuggets of also a few inside stories from government as well and positivity as well so uh... absolutely i you know i think i think pensions are, they shouldn't be about telling people off and making people feel bad, they should be about giving you choices in later life so you can live the later life you want to. Well, we shall look forward to a bright future. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Steve.